This is a sample from our training at itdvds.com. If you'd like to learn more, please go to itdvds.com. To turn available storage on our cluster into a cluster shared volume is really easy. We can just right click on our available storage and click on add to cluster shared volumes. We can also do it from PowerShell using the add dash cluster shared volume commandlet. Specify the disk we want to add. I'm going to add cluster disk 4. Okay, it's been added. We can see that here as well. Now what that does is if I go to my C drive on any one of my nodes, there's this cluster storage folder. And this volume 1 is the new cluster shared volume that we added. So this particular path, C cluster storage volume 1, is available on any nodes. And any node can read and write to it at the same time. So I'm actually on node A. If I go over to node B here, the C drive on node B, you can see there it is, the cluster storage folder and volume 1. Now we can actually rename this volume one and change the name of it if we want, just like we would any other folder. So I could change it to maybe corp docs or virtual machines or something like that. And that same path again will exist on our other nodes now. So now it's, you can see it's cluster storage virtual machines. So if we do rename it, most likely we want to rename it right when we create it. Now if we want to remove a clustered shared volume, it's very easy as well. We can just right click on it and click on remove clustered shared volumes or from PowerShell. We can use the remove dash clustered shared volume commandlet. And it'll be added back to available storage. And we can see now that folder virtual machines that we created on our clustered shared volume was is gone now. And if we look at cluster manager, it's back to available, available storage.